Sami bona ne makaya ngini bengile nonke gama ngaje wese thophilayo ngiyathemba ukuthi niyaphile kuzo zonke indawo la kufinyela khona ngomnyana zona mhlanje siphuma nje kuyi weekend enkulu kangaka i Father's Day sibonge kakhulu kobaba ekakhulu kazi sifuqala nje ngobaba laba abadlali indima yabo emakhaya njengobaba baqotho aba abalandela izwe kaNkulu Nkulu ukuthi uNkulu Nkulu abenzene emndeneni yabo sibonga kakhulu uNkulu Nkulu ngala bobaba sithubeka njalo enibe sibonile sihle emphakathini nakulaba abasazama basadonsa kanzima sithi uNkulu Nkulu akanisize nibhekisa mehlo kuyena because izwe lakhe liyasho ukuthi asithanda emndeneni yethu sivikele njengoba uKristu ekwenzile ebandleni lakho sanikhuthaza ukuthi sibukele kuKristu njengobaba sibonga kakhulu uNkulu Nkulu nengane nje yise emakhaya eyijengisa uthando kobaba abazi bazidala sithi qhubekani very vibe let's cut ties ukuthi sibabantu abazolalela bahlonipha abazali bethu akungagcinike nge Father's Day na namhlanje nakusasa sibe sibonelo eh emphakathini sithande eh abazali bethu sibahloniphe namhlanje kisoqhube kanje nenkonzo namhlanje kisoba nendumiso ngifuna ukukhuthaza nje mokuthi eh ukhona hlambe la uhlela ikhona ubambekile ngifuna usuku uma ngezinyawo simdumise uNkulu Nkulu ngoba izwi lakhe let's cut ties simdumise ngakho koke siyikho ngizoqela nje sazwe ndumise nethi eqoshiwe ukuthi nje ube free la ukhona udumise izwi uNkulu Nkulu wethu uphilaye eh kamuna ka Jesus abesidumisela
Sibonge about the best hole and the means, Sibonge um seven zonga ba wenzile, oguti eh ba bazlung sadele ba kope eh into misi jengale. Sibonge akulun kulengale zisengane, ezis nigela ngara eh during a week um zela show oguti sina into means. Sibonge kona ba kulun kulu, opko no figure la guza zongi ndau la suwe sanganya nekon. 
namhlanje ke bangcwele ufuna ukukhuthaza la ukhona ukuthi mo ukuthi ufuna ukufaka uhamba vangele okomnikele okweshumi ukhona la umbhalo onamniningwane yonke ukuthi ufaka njani kweshumi abanyeke bakhona base endaweni la ehlanye nakhona emabhilidi labo ebandla bazoveke bafake emaboxini but thine semakhaya uthinte nje amabhathini lapho ekhaka okhompyutha nakuma cell phone ngoba nazo ikhomininingwane la seso ezwini manje but ngaphambe sezwini ngifise ukusho ukuthi umnyalezo onamhlanje umnyalezo omkhulu kakhulu futhi umnyalezo ophuthumayo futhi umnyalezo esude ngayo futhi umnyalezo okukhulunywa ngawo emhlabeni wonke jikelele end kifuna ukukhuthaza ukuthi ucele uNkulunkulu eh aksize ukwazi ukuqonda nokuunderstand nembuzo nayo uyibex kaNkulunkulu ngoba manje imnyalezo namhlanje ubuse uphathele ugrant umfundisi uCrawford wakhona le One Love Church ozobuthinta indaba esikhuluma ngazo emphakathini indaba esikhuluma ngazo nasemaphepheni nako uma television nakuwonke nje amazwe kuthintwa le ndaba le azobe ekhuluma ngayo nomhlanje uNkulunkulu akubusise ekuzobe kushunyelwa ngale ndawo uthi uNkulunkulu ngicela ngusize ukhulume nami ngicela ngusize le mbuze ngayo iphendule kodwa kube uwena uze uphendule egama lika Jesus siyabonga Hello everybody and it's good to have you with us as we continue our series through the book of Acts There is a saying that goes, when America sneezes, the whole world feels it. And right now we're feeling it, aren't we? The name George Floyd will forever be written into the history of America and in fact of the world. He was the man, the black man, that was brutally murdered by a white policeman in front of the world on camera. And it has elicited, and rightly so, indignation and protest and horror from countries all over the globe. There are protests in London and Paris and Brazil and Sweden and in our country. The, the issue of racism has found its way to the fore again. Will Smith, the famous actor, put it this way. He said, it's not that racism has become worse. It's just that we're filming it now. It's now a conversation. It is a compulsory conversation conversation and and rightly so i mean even uh, sports celebrities and social media is a buzz chipping in making uh, their their contributions and and we in south africa uh, can't smugly sit by and and say you know we've gone through this uh, no we haven't because we're not talking about overt hatred of people and murder which was very tragic and what happened there with george floyd but but it's It's institutionalized, and, and it's, it's more subtle than that. It's, it's stereotypes, it's preference, it's, it's partiality. I was talking to an elder the other day who was reflecting on uh, our men's camp two years ago. He said he was on his phone, and someone came around the corner, and he was talking rather loudly, and the guy said to him, Hey, quieten down on your phone, man. You're not an Mlazi. I mean, the guy says to me, I, I've never even been to Mlazi. But just because I have a black skin, he assumed I knew about Mlazi. And, and in addition to that, that people in Mlazi speak loudly on telephones. I mean, you say, go on, he's probably trying to be funny. It is stereotyping, and, and it is a form of racism. Now, racism isn't new to the human race. I mean, as long as, long as people understood that they were different from others... Sin can get in and can polarize. I mean, Paul writes to Titus, and he says this, I'm quoting one of your poets who says that all Cretans are liars. He doesn't stop there. And lazy brutes. I mean, how horrific is that? Paul quoting a Cretan poet saying that, that they are profiled in, in such a way. Now, what you are not needing right now from me or from the church is another political commentary. What you are not needing is for me to stand up and echo the sentiments of the world. If I stood up and I just backed the arguments of the world, I will fail like the world is failing. Now you see, the, the issue of racism is, is first a spiritual one before it's a political one. And God has an answer to it. And the Bible has something to say about it. And so what we're going to be doing today is is looking at it through the lens of the narrative and acts because 
In Acts chapter 13, which is our chapter today, we introduce to a conflict between Jew and Gentile. It puts us fairly and squarely in this issue. And then we're going to have some comments from that text and look at God's answer to it. So turn with me, please, if you could, to um, Acts chapter 13, verse 42. As Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people invited them to speak further about these things on the next Sabbath. When the congregation was dismissed, many of the Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who talked with them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. So we have a situation where it's monocultural. It's just Jewish, devout Jewish. And in that environment, everybody's the same. They're thinking the same. They're looking the same. And Paul is a bit of a celebrity. But the next week, verse 44 says, On the next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and began to contradict what Paul was saying and heaped abuse on him. Then Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly, We had to speak the word of God to you first. Since you rejected it, you did not consider yourselves worthy of eternal life. We now turn to the Gentiles. For this the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and honored the word of the Lord, and all who were appointed for eternal life believed. The word of the Lord spread in the whole region, but the Jewish leaders incited the God-fearing women of high standing and the leading men of the city. They stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their region. And so what these wealthy Jewish leaders did is they got prominent women and some affluent men and said, let's get these guys out. Let's restore the order at our country club. And so Paul shook the dust of his feet and warned them as he went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. What do we to make of that text? Well, some of you might say, well, It's understandable because these were unsaved people. They did not have a revelation of Jesus. And so they were polarized. They were partisan. They were racist. And you expect that of unchurched, unsaved people. The tragedy of this story was that this issue which was in the world found its way into the church. The narrative in the marketplace crept into the church itself. And two chapters on, That issue of Jew-Gentile conflict and racism was rife in the church. And this is what was happening. The Jewish leaders saw that the Gentiles had got saved, looked different to them. So they were insisting that their men have an operation to make them look like the Jews. Paul was indignant. He was furious. saying, actually, he says in his, his rebuttal of it, he says, God does not discriminate and you shouldn't be either. And so he goes to Jerusalem and he He lassoes Peter and the apostles into the debate. He comes back and the church is totally distracted from their mission of seeing people saved, of advancing the church, and they've got to resolve this conflict. And then the real tragedy is in the tailspin of that resolution, uh, Paul and Barnabas themselves have a little bit of a fight. And so the answer and the way Paul handled this is in chapter 15. But before we get there, there's enough here for us to start to open up what the Bible uh, lays as a biblical platform for us to handle this issue of, of racism. I'm going to look at five things. The first one is this, is that God created us differently, uniquely. Gender differences, race differences. And that wasn't a, like a cosmic mistake. The, the Bible says that you've been fearfully and wonderfully made. In his image, you've been made. And and so your features, your race, your quirks, your idiosyncrasies, your uniqueness is designed to reflect his glory. In the book of Revelation, it says that every tribe, every language, every nation is positioned there before the throne, giving him glory. It was his design to make us unique and to weave a tapestry that reflects his wonder and his majesty. In the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 2, it says this, you, talking about all people, are his handiwork. Now the translation says workmanship, but the Greek word there is 
poema, masterpiece. You, talking about all of humanity, are his masterpiece. In other words, the creator of the cosmos painted you as a masterpiece. And he, he picked your gender, not a mistake. He said, no, this, will, this one will be female. And then he put a skin on you, not a mistake. God has created you to reflect him, to be an image bearer of him. That's why we are holy. The word holy means set apart. Life is sacred to God, every life. That verse goes on to say, and then you've been created in Christ Jesus. So everyone has been made in his image, but then there's a new creation that happens when you become a Christian, which, which takes you into a, another whole uh, dimension. But you have been uniquely made, and those unique differences are designed by God, which leads me to our second point. That because we are different, it is difficult to understand what it's like to live in someone else's skin. I'm married to Sue, have been for 28 years, and the number of times I've said to her, I understand, and she shot back at me, no, you don't. You might think you know what it's like to be a woman, but you have no idea. And, and the same of someone of another race. You can say very glibly, I understand. You, no, you don't. You don't. We don't understand because we are so unique. We're so different. One day in glory, we will understand. But now, now we don't. And I think we've got to own up to that. So when we're dealing with this very complex issue and this, this terrain of understanding and finding each other, we've got to understand this, that, that we only see in part. Which brings me to my third point. Just because we don't fully understand doesn't mean we shouldn't be trying with everything in us. I think we should be asking questions, lots of questions. We should be listening. We should be listening all the time. Jesus listened. Jesus was a phenomenal listener. Do you know that the Bible says in the, in the Gospels that he asked more than 300 questions? You can go and count them up if you like. Some say 350, others say about 330. Questions that he asked, he was only actually asked about 130. And, and he, he only gave direct answers to three of them. So, so what do we deduce from that? Well, Jesus asked questions. Why? He was listening. He was listening for pain. He would, he, and when he heard it, he, he stopped. He stopped processions. He interrupted people. He, he, he brought those who were prejudiced against and those who were maligned. He, he brought them into full view. Remember he told the story of the Pharisee, the Levite and the priest who walked past a Samaritan who was in distress. And I think he deliberately picked them to say, look, you, you put these guys up as models in society. They presume they understand. They don't fully understand. They should have stopped. They should have seen. They should have heard the pain. We, we need to be happy to ask questions. You see, I think in the church, the church is the best place to ask questions because we know that the answers to all the big problems are in Jesus himself. So we need to ask. We need to listen. We need to, we need to pause and, and stop presuming. You know, uh, to presume that you know what uh, someone is going through can itself cause pain. Which brings me to my fourth point, that we all see the world through the lens of our uniqueness, our unique history, our race, our, our upbringing, and it distorts the way we see the world. Uh, you say, no, no, God, I see it quite objectively. The, the most objective of us are still a product of our upbringing. And so our lens is distorted. When, when someone uh, said to me uh, many, many years ago, you, you've been brought up in privilege, my immediate retort, being a, a white South African, my immediate retort was, you don't know my mom and dad. I, I, but, but I was defending a position that was, was hopeless because I, 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 I was blinded by my prejudice. I was blinded by my, by my upbringing. And it really, about 10 years ago, uh, uh, came to 
uh, I came to the realization that this lens needs, needs some cleaning. And I'll tell you how it happened. It is my son loves to play cricket. And um, when he was in the under-12 uh, age group, he was a very well-known cricketer in the region and was expecting to make the provincial side. Uh, yet he didn't make it. And so one night he was lying in bed and he was crying his eyes out, little 12-year-old boy saying, Dad, explain to me why I'm not in the team. He knew all the little boys that had made it. And he picked on one particular guy who was of another race who didn't quite bowl as quick at him. In fact, today the, the, that little boy doesn't play cricket anymore. So I said to him, my boy, uh, that particular guy has not had the privilege that you have had and so it's his chance. It's his, he needs to be afforded the opportunity. He said, Dad, explain to me what privilege is. And so as best I could, I explained to a 12-year-old boy what I understood it to be. So he said, no, no, no. He stopped me. He said, listen, that guy's dad earns more money than you. He drives a better car than you. That boy's been to a private school. I haven't. He's had coaching since he was a little boy. I haven't. How is that privilege? How am I more privileged than him? And, and in a moment... It's like God gave me the answer to him. I said to my boy, who taught you to play cricket? Your coach or your dad? He thinks a bit and he says, well, I'd probably have to say you. So I said, okay, let's make this clear. How many balls has your coach ever thrown to you? So he said, well, maybe a few hundred. I said, now how many have I thrown to you? He said, well, maybe 10,000. I said, okay, exactly. So I've been your cricket coach, not your school teacher. Now, that little boy that's beaten you to the provincial side, have you seen his dad? He says, yes, I have. I said, let me ask you this question. Where was his dad in the 1970s? He says, I have no idea. So I said, well, I don't either, but I can tell you this. He was living in an underprivileged place. He was not playing cricket. He was at an underprivileged school. And where do you think your dad was in the 1970s? So he says, well, I don't know, I'll tell you where I was. I was at Hillcrest Primary School, and I was being coached by John Steele, an English county cricketer. And so your coaching in the year 2010 was a product of English county cricket from the 50s and 60s. You, my boy, come from a long line of white cricketing privilege. And it settled, my son. Now, some of you, even in me telling that story, might say, well, I don't see it like you see it. I'm, I'm saying that each of us is a product of our upbringing, and we see the world differently because of that upbringing. So you might have a lot of pain, and it distorts the way you see the world. You, you might have a... You might have a um, very strong views that you've inherited from your mom and dad and from your friends around you, and it shapes the way you see the world. And so we're different. It's difficult to understand how people of um, another uh, unique uh, gender or, or race actually feel. We should devote ourselves to trying to understand, and we need to own up to the fact that we, we, we our view of the world is not perfect. It's distorted. And then the fifth thing that we need to understand is that the Bible calls out any form of racism as sin. God is the standard of what's holy and right, and the Bible says he shows no partiality. He shows no discrimination. But in James chapter 2, it makes it very clear, verse 9, but if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as a lawbreaker. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What word did they use there? Favoritism. In other words, you pick a favorite. Pick a favorite because of his age, because of his gender, because of his, his race, because of... If you pick a favorite, it says you are convicted by the law as a sinner. And what happens when that, that happens and you sin like that, it causes very often the person that you are discriminating against themselves to feel pain and very often themselves to, to sin. And it causes this cycle of sin. And so as an, 
as a world without Jesus tries to grapple with this, they're caught in this vortex of retribution and misunderstanding and, and not uh, listening to each other and presuming and hopping up into their vantage points, and it gets into one hang of a mess. Sanbonani Makayas, Bongulungulung, Galama Tuba, Asi Pawana, Oguzwa is Rangulungul. Namtan Janaga is we, Esi Kulumangalo is we, El Balega Kul, Ukranti, Winchumaloyake, I Kulumanga Pambiguami, Ube Kulumaga Kul, Lungesin Kinga, Esiesa Pegananas, Noma Esuiz Bonayo, Nesis Wangazo, Zenzega, M. Tabin Wonke Chigelele, Lezin Kulumo, the Sugela. Esmene Senzega, Emeliga, La Gua Vela Corna, Epe, Labantu, Bepigisha, Genga, Yogubulawa, Gomuntu, Omyama, Efela, Ezandeni, Zabantaba Pete Umte to Abam Shop. Nakoge, Guba Legil, Guti, Lenkinga, Espeganayo, Evela, Sangatum Pumedawa, Gugu Twaswa, Mogwe Bal, Ugutinda by Yoktuasan, Nendaba, Yobantululu, Iba Legil, Guba Sepeganayo, Jenge Band. Kunumilege Ukranti Kaban Zingayo, Uguti, Tina Jenge Bandla, Asi Hambisani Nezin, To Ezi Ngav Melani, Nongulungul, Iga Kulun Jongoba, Sans, Uguti, Unkulungul, Senze, Gomfanigi Sowak, Wonkumun to Uba Legil and Kulungul, Loko Yiko, Nalokunkulungul, Agubis Lekona, Naloko, Oakiwe, Unkulungul, Wagbega, Gutube Yiko, Agekumutong Akshinch, Akoba Legil. Uguti Sitlonipe, Isi Tunzi, Unkulunkulu, Asbegile, M. Twin. Noma Twa Uvela, Gulupu, Ushobo, Luekai, Noma Invela Piaco, Ivela, Quisipe, Isizwe. Go to Unkulunkulu, Ubegile, Guti Abant, Mabashon Pege, Genga, Yom Fanegiso, Okona, Gumunt. Unkulunkulu, Babegabant, Uguti, Balingane, Oguesi, Pandwangulunkulu. Unkulunkulu make pega, Agabonu pansi, noma unga pezgum in your moon. Gotwa, Genga, Yogunagal, Nanga Yasono, Esiconem Sabin, Abantu Bayaza, Sulela, Basbege Bona, Guti Abanye Bangono, Gunabany, Abanye Basbugele pants, Manjum Buzo, Gu Guti Tina, Jenge Banda, Isimo Esinjalo, Silva, Ganjani Naso, Sias Gutabanye, Ba Pumelem Quatreni, Ba Paramis Zandla. Abanye Bayalwa, Abanye Gubakona, Impata, Ezi, Ilimale, Genga, Yubsung, Abasuge, Bebuzwa, Napagati. Ebesuba Konagene, Tuelequele, Ezi, Zibe, Imitantela, Yezinto, Laban, Besuge, Pumile, Kona, Bezoralisa, I Lagalabo, Gezinto, Abai Bonayo, Ezra Tandegi, Empagatin. Asensho Getina, Gut Abantu, Banga Pumeli, Napande, Benze, I Go to a tinesic show, you see, Pega Uti, Uje Suena, Esmeni, Aexona, Wenza Ganjani, Nogutunculunculu Funa Jenga Bantlabak, Senza Ganjani, Esmeni, Osuge Upeganazo. Si a fundes Nganculunculam Tangena, Guinuati, Yezenzo, Isatugo, Sesum Nantantu, Mascalan Jufunda, Evesinga forty two, Li Kuluma, Goshunia, La Guez, Gangulunculu, Uguti, Upanaba. Ba Puma, Ba Shumaela is the Unkulunkulu, Benu Paul. Gatibel Shumaela is the Unkulunkula Bantu Baltanda. Basabia Fisa Sangatabantu, Bangabuela Futi Opa, Naba no Paul. Conabezo Liz Wagasle is we, Ligankulunkul. Ogushu to Wenzega, Abantu Bezizwe, Abaliz Wizwe, Bavula in Debe, Balalela. Basabia Muswa, Unkulunkulu, Ekuluma Nabo. Basabia Langazelela. Uguti Baliz, we eased and Kulungul, Magasige, Fundege, Sikale, Emma Vesini, Alan Delayo, Embara forty two. Laguti Kona, Kona Sebetara Zegile, Emma Sina Abesna Koke, Abaning Baba Jut and Abaprosel Lita, Ak Otto, Balandela, O Paul, no Panaba, Aba Kulumanabo, Babanga, Uguba, Basale, Emseni, Gangulungulu, Gesa Batelandelayo, Guabutana. Kutishe umuzu wonke uguzwa izwi liangulungulu. Gepa abajuta, bebona izikugu, batwala umhau. Bagupiga ogwa gukulunyu angu pauli, betambalaza kona o pauli, no panaba, bakuluma ngesbindi, bati. Begutingega uguba izwi liangulungulu, likulunywe kinikala. Kepa loku nilingaba, nizisho nina, 
nithi anifanele ukuphila ukuphakade bekani sesiphendukela kwabe zizwe ngokuba inkosi siyalezile kanjalo ukuthi ngikubekile ube ngukukhanya kwabe zizwe ube insindiso kuze kube semkhawuleni womhlaba lake sifunda ukuthi kwathi uma abezizwe belizwa izwe kaNkulunkulu base beyathinteka base beyabuka abangamajuda bamangaliswa ukuthi kwenzeka kanjani ukuthi izwi lizwiwe ngabantu abangebona amajuda bese beyaphenduka na bazitshela bona ukuthi bangcono kuna kuna abantu bezizwe uyabona into uyayibona ikhona yonke indawo nanka majuda acabanga ukuthi izwi kaNkulunkulu ngelabo bodwa uma bebona abezizwe bephendukela kaNkulunkulu babona bengalifanele izulu bengalifanele izwi kaNkulunkulu bengawufanele umusa kaNkulunkulu Nana mtanje siphila phakathi kwabantu abacabanga ukuthi ibona kuphela abafanele ukuthi bathole izinto ezithize babona abanye bangafanele mhlambe ngenxa yokuthi bayilokha bayikhona umbala wabo imvelaphi yabo noma mhlambe indlela abaqoka ngayo noma indlela abakhuluma ngayo upauli uma ekhuluma benobanabas bayakuveza ukuthi seza kuna sikhuluma izwi kaNkulunkulu nangalemukela Sasa siya kubantu bezizwe, base bea lemugela. Angazi no mtambu kwa tanga nana bantu. Aba kubugela pansa, aba ngagbonu faneligile kuti ukona wena iyo onga izuza. Kantu nkulu nkulu uma epega bantu, aga keti. Engfuna kutisikpegela, kuguti ngenga yon faneligiso kankulu nkulu onga parati gitina. Ujesu upega nango nezido eitinta impilo yomundu. Ngoba siyambona ngelinilanga menza umfanekiso wenza umfanekiso womSamaria olungileyo lithi ibhayibheli kwathi ngelinilanga kuhamba umuntu uthizeni esuka eya ejericho uma esendleleni uhlangana negcwelegcwele ugcwelegcwele bese ziyambamba inkunzi zimqhebule izingubo uma sezimqhebulile zimshiye nomdondo kuphela Uma kukamu kumpristi, umpristi uya mbega lo mundo limele, koto akamsizu ya mzula. Kukamu kumlevi, na yema mbega, abalege, angamsizu inga luto. Manje uya bona la guti, abanta, baba ifanele gile, guti bangabe, bausizo. Ababe kuluma inda, abe ilungleyo, ababe mazu, nkulu nkulu, abamnagi umundo olimele, abanandaba nae. Angazi noma uyazi nukutu kwe singiskati kukona kutu atu muntu mina angfunu kuba ingenye kutu atule uma ebona into embi angasholuto. La ujesu uveza indaba yomsa mario lungleyo. Ogwa tiena maekamuka umembonu muntu ese mshungwini, embone ese nkingeni. Uya ya guyena, ufige umtela nga mafuta, uya mtatu mkwilisi mbongo lo yake, ebese emusa, esi pedela, ugutilo mtu, aya alashwe. Aka kini pela ngwenze njalo, kotwa uti uma ese lulema, anongbiza, ngyobuya, gimkokele. La usifundisa anu jesu na, usifundisa uguti, unga talalisi uma ubona indo embi. Unga tool maubona gukona utwa sana no magukonu bandlulana. Unkulunkulu kuluma ne bandla. Uguti njenge bandla gumele guba simele ugulunga. Goba esi ikona kungo musa kangulunkulu. Age uzwe amazwi akulunwa gumlobi la kwingwa tezendo 13 verse 44. Ukuluma nguguti babu tana bonge kishe bapuma guwa unkumuzi. Uguba balalele izwi. Lengos. Izu lengos malfiga emtwini. Lifiga ngumusa. Ae ngoba silfane li izu kankulunkulu. Ipaipeli uma likuluma ngumusa ugutu sanele sonke. Lisho guti lomusa ubunga sifanele. Yinte si piwe ngotandu kankulunkulu. Nawe nje ulapo njongo bila lile nje. Kungo musa kankulunkulu tandiwe. Ekte niswe ni awazu guzi kenya. Awazu guzi enza inte ngono sangatu pageme guna banyabantu. Ngoba oikona, ingoba unkulu unkulu ektandile. Uktandu nge luto, uktande ugute nae. Uyazini, uteke niswe ni maipaipe li kuluma ngomunto fundile. Numa mta mumto ne mali zake. Uma eza unkulu unkulu, unkulu unkulu uti siyalingane spamba nweni. Ngoba ujesu ufele bonka bantu. 
ingakho uNkulunkulu engahambisani nokucwasana nokubukeleka phansi nokuthi wena uzenze ngcono kuna abanye abantu ngoba umusa kaNkulunkulu usenele sonke eqinisa indaba ezimnandi zomlayezo kaNkulunkulu kukuthi uNkulunkulu ufika ungafanele ufika wena udeliwe abantu ufika wena Kwa wenu zilatile uibuwe la pansi ngenga yogona unga kwa zgu skipa emkotini. Gatete umundo nga zaano ngulungulufano mtu semkotini oti ngumundu ozo mkipa. Uyazi nguti umangabe kukona into embi egwe sele. Kukona inti enza kala yunga parati gwena. Nkuluma nawe na mtanje obugelege pansi abantaba kulumi inti ezimbi ngawe. Mtambe uye wabandululo watuaswa. Kubalegile guti uma ungu mtuwa na kankulungulu kunga abine nzondo nga pagati. Ngobi nzondo mtuwa mbulala. Uyabona unkulungulu sifundisa uguti suwazu kola nukukolela abantu abasonile. Ngobi abantu abenze into ezimbi gitina kungenga yesono esi nga pagati kwabo. Ake ukabange ngo jesu na mtanje. Ugutu jesu wenze njani uma abantu bemlengisa esphamba nweni into Jesu ayibhekayo ubheka inhliziyo yomuntu ngoba wayazi ukuthi abakwenzayo bakwenza ngenxa yobubi beyinhliziyo zabo kanti nasebandleni futhi siyathola ukuthi bakhona abantu ababa nokulingeka abenza izinto wesini sikhathi othi mawuthi azibheka ubone ukuthi asifanelekile ngoba sonke sesemiseni kaNkulunkulu kuba le ithibani yezithu abantu baphenduke bazibone ububi bazo ububi babo bazisole ngabo baphendukele kuNkulunkulu uNkulunkulu uthi kwena namhlanje imazi ukuthi uNkulunkulu unothando uNkulunkulu nomusa kuwo wonke abantu masifunde ukubekezelelana Sifunde ukuba thanda abantu kwesinye isikhathi indlela yokungqoba isitha ukuthi usithande indlela ukuthi wenze into enhle kumuntu iyona emenza ukuthi asondele kuNkulunkulu hleze uphathwe kabi ukukhulunywe kabi nawe isikhali esikhulu uNkulunkulu akuphesho namhlanje isikhali sothando ngiyakumema ke namhlanje ukuthi kuNkulunkulu yazi ukuthi ziningi ikhubekiso ezizovela kodwa uNkulunkulu akufunayo kukuthi bambelela kuyena yizincwadi ka Petro woqasha hlukwe sa 2 uverse 7 no 8 ithi ngakho ke kini enikholwayo liyiguku Gepa kwa banga koloayo, iche abalingabayo, abaki, yulona elaba yinchogo ye kumbi, neche lo kuzula, netwala lo kubegisa. Ba kuzuga, benga laleli izwi, liga nkulunkulu, ogu ikona, begu miselweyo. Gepa tina, esi shumayela ukrestu, ebe tles pamba nwen, isi kubegiso kuba juta, ubu wula kubo abezizwe. Izle nko si liti, abantu abangezani no nkulunkulu, izle nko si li skubegiso. Li pinde futi libe ubula. Kotwa li gupila gulabo abazwana no nkulunkulu. Ngigimema na mtanji utu nkulunkulu uti woza giena. Uma inti zwa ki pshungu ngenga yezi ndo ezi kifelele. Mtambe gunezi ndo kala ngazo guti au nazo, ngabu nazo, uguba abazanga batu baki tateli ndo zaku. Abazanga baki bantu luli. Abazanga baki tateli ndao yaku. Giti na mtanje, utu nkulungulu, age ubuye lesi pamba nweni. Umbe gujesu e tateli wa gonke. Umbe gujesu e lenga e ngunu, e nga koge luto, kotwa eti ba tetelele, muguba abagwazi, abagwenzayo. Asiki skali lula nje telelu. Ugutu kola enti zweni. Ngoba umawge wa kola enti zweni. Unkulungulu ugupa uktula. Ebeso ya kulega age. Ukulegele abanga mazu unkulungulu. Ugutu ba mazu enti zweni zaabu. Basonde ele giena. Ngoba unkulungulu unomusa. Unkulungulu ya batanda bantu abagute na ye. Ugutu basonde li bapenduge. Uya tanda futi na we. Ugutu beno kolo kubantu abagwenze gabi. Mages kulege. Ngoze tengu Jesu Christu, Baba, sibonga umusa wako, sibonga utando. Uguti ngoze, noma sizi kwaka, besambela gude nawe, kotwa waba no musa kitina, ngutu musa wako usanele sonke, uguba suwazu kutola, insindi iso, stolu kpila, eka menle ngoze tu, engu Jesu Christu, guze kwe parate.
Sanga tungu lungu lenga busesa, agu nige zosugu oluche, ugoti ma kono tungu kuluma nae, unga kuluma na nati, sna zinombo unga zbega na se pugwini skona, ukuba usti ende matingu te sixize, iko se busesa. Amen. Se bonga kulu gezi na kulu kule na manza, se bonga nje kulu kulu ta kulu nati, ene se atemba na guti njoba lishi na kulu kulu guti albuyele mowe na pete luto, ene kuna bantu abase makaya. Unkulunkula kulmena basi nigele unkulunkula kufunua kutaza na msaada juu tini. Well done. And with this moment, see, and no good, a great commuter Kulmana, Omzalane, Sakutas, good to Tatimini, and Nate Bandlet, a steam to Nutelaban to Abanga Kulmana, with no statil. Got a mango to corner the Kai, or Kulu Ayomazi, you crest to Jess, a commander, and a bush tank is Ninga Lilikon Kulunkul, and more to Nimbozo Nayo, and a Pendulagil, if Nangonjal, to Stinte, or Tinte. Na bakolwa na mutinde kina website yetu na makuu Facebook zoko lezi ndasi na wazi kumani na wangu funu upendule kwa kona kasi kasi wengine kwa siabongo kuti tatu skat siku kuti nimbogo lenye chuma ilolezi sisi sawa kuzimemeze na ma izinda baza sekalo siku kuzi mungu kuti news church news so bogo kutu kwenye kala ni mapagati ebandleni ekaya na wengine kuchinde kwa nji o patele na nazi tazi zenza kumkula benani ni benye vigeli sana pambi in Jesus name amen. Hey everybody, we have been super excited at the response to part one of our online courses over the past few weeks. And you'll be happy to know that part two will be starting soon. If you missed the first set of courses, don't worry, you can definitely join in for part two. There are three courses in total and they happen in the midweek. On a Monday night, we have the marriage course. And on a Wednesday, we look at the theology behind some of the Old Testament books of the Bible with Ed Strong. And on a Thursday, it's the parenting course. They happen on Zoom for about four to six weeks and it means that you can join from wherever you are and each week ends with a question and answer session so if you would like to sign up it's really simple all you have to do is click on the link in the description of the video or you can send a whatsapp to the number on the screen we would love to see you there cheers hello church great to be able to give you some feedback on our community projects we are just about to harvest at our uh, community garden in France, so we'll be able to sell off some of that produce. We've got a, a woodwork or carpentry program that is on the go, and uh, that's gaining momentum. Together with Domino Business and Community Projects, we are busy creating employment, and uh, really a great uh, thank you to everybody on the ground there that is m making these things happen. And we also are able to continue feeding thousands of people uh, thanks to your generous donations and I'd like to appeal to you to continue to do that. It's been exceptional seeing that over the last few weeks we have never run dry in terms of food. So, so thank you very much and just to encourage you church and to thank you for all that you're doing uh, as we, we give to the poor and that we remember the poor. God bless. One of the things I really love about connect groups, we are often laughing at what the last person has said. In one connect group, you can have a butcher, a plumber, a nurse. Seeing a stranger and inviting them into your home, we can go from stranger to family. We still get to share our lives together, albeit online. And get to hear testimonies of God's goodness. It's just a community that uh, causes a person to grow in their faith and be discipled. When my mates bring me a chow and we can just chill and have a joke. The different personalities, the different people types, the different backgrounds, the different uh, perspectives that they bring. Um, watching the word impact their lives and how young Christians grow. The friendships that you form there, you actually do life together, you pray together, you pray for each other. Number one, it's the laughs and number two, it's the people. Put those two together and you have a recipe for success. I've just loved solidifying those friendships, connecting with people and um, just on a deeper level. To share what's going on in my own life and to hear what's going on in the lives of people that I deeply love. We share our wisdom and our faith and love with the Lord. It's becoming a family under God through one.